quality. I'm like a kid at a candy store. I love this. First ride of the day is going to be the Transformers ride. That was actually so much fun. It was. I used to honestly love that ride, and now I feel like shaky. Oh, the White Rapids are here now. Good morning everyone from another lovely day here in Singapore. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to Universal Studios here in Singapore. We can actually see Sentosa Island. Which is just over there. We're currently on the Sentosa Boardwalk, Boardwalk. which I think this is a man-made island. We can see a map here introducing Sentosa. Um, I mean, I have no idea about Sentosa, but Beth seems to have a... Basically. I mean, all I know is that they have Universal Studios here and it was one of like the top things on my list when coming to Singapore. So really excited. We do get early entry into the park as well. So yes, we are actually really early. It's right. like 8am right now or like maybe quarter past eight. So and yeah. I think we can get in at nine. So yeah, we're super early. But this is Sentosa Island. There's obviously Universal Studios. I know they have some other things going on, but today I think we're only going to do Universal. Hopefully if we've got time to look around, we will. But yeah it's gonna be good the weather is kind of playing okay we're raining a little bit but there's some blue sky so hopefully we dodge the rain today and we can uh, really enjoy the park properly because yesterday was really bad but yeah i mean i mean it's it does okay. say thunder and lightning on the rain uh, on the forecast for today so hopefully good. it'll be Not nice to try but yeah we're gonna this is actually a really nice walk to be fair a massive cruise ship up there and the sky carts going down there so i'm not too sure where you can get the sky carts from but yeah you can also cool. get a monorail here ah, um, yeah. from the vivo i think it was called vivo mall but we've decided to take the boardwalk today because it is not raining and hopefully we'll get the monorail on the way back yes let's enjoy It's early, so there's not many people here yet, but we're getting excited because we can see the famous spinning globe. Ah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, We've got so, so many like street food vendors and stuff here. They're not yet open, but I can imagine later this area will be popping. Yes, we can actually go in in about five minutes. Oh, uh, can we now? Yeah, because we have some special early bird tickets or we something. Do. We do. So first we're going to get a photo, obviously. There we go. Look at that. Christ, I haven't been to Universal Studios since 2009, maybe. It's in Florida, so. Yes, nice. Wow. Wow, we. Wow, we. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, I'll show up. Thank you. Honestly, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I love this. Oh my goodness. This is pretty mental to be I fair. I'm like back in Florida. Yeah. Oh my god. My family are going to be so jealous. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Oh my goodness. So we've got like an old American diner there, some cars. We've got, oh, a big cinema. Mate, this place is mental. We've got Sesame Street there. I bet when it actually opens, in an hour this is all filled with like characters yeah that is the benefit of getting the early bird tickets like it's so empty here and it's, it's so, so good yeah but then you don't get the full effect of like true. the bustle and like all the shops open yeah. but then obviously we're going to be here all day so this is true but i mean this is sick so far first ride of the day is going to be the transformers ride because the wait time is five minutes now we're not going to see that for the rest of the day so whilst we're here we might as well go in we don't know what kind of the best ride is, but we're yeah. just gonna. Thank Hello, you very much. thank you. We're just gonna go for whichever ones we see. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I've never seen such an empty queue. <laughs> That's lovely. We have an hour to go absolutely crazy on every single ride that we can. It would, it's like we've got a little private tour, isn't it? Uh, yes. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but. I thought it would be like a simulator. Yeah, uh, maybe. Glasses pickup area, which means it's going to be a 3D. I'll get a pair for uh, GoPro as well. Thank you. 
thank you. Oh. Anyone's on the ride? Oh. 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 How's that look? We are literally the only ones on this ride. We are only ones in the queue on the ride. Oh. Okay. What's this then? That was actually so much fun. It was. I feel it's... a bit motion sickness now. <laughs> well, she does. Oh. It's the first time I've been on a ride for so long now, and that was yeah. actually so good. The production there was sick. Um, I forgot how good Universal actually yeah. was until you come back. So, first ride, ticket off the list, that was fucking mental. Not too sure what we're going on next. I guess we'll find one. We're not, I'm not going on any of yes, them. Yes, you can, are. But I'm, I'm yes, down, you are. I swear you can't. Yes, not. you are. I don't like rides like yes, that. Yes, you do. In the only bus is too good. No, I'm not doing yes, it. Yes, you are. I'm not doing it. Okay then, so we actually realised there's only three rides open at the moment, which is a bit weird because you buy an early ticket and you can only access three rides. Yeah, you um, can't go past the transport. Which is a bit of a waste of an early bird ticket to be honest, but we're here. Second ride is Sesame Street Spaghetti Space Chase. So I'm not sure what this has in store for us, I but... I don't know how I feel about this, but... Looks good. Hello, thank you. Yeah, yeah. well, we are big kids now. We are big kids, yeah. Looks like everyone's had the same idea and come here. Yeah. Thank you. Right then. Ooh. Oh, oh. I guess what they want. Really not entirely sure what this ride's gonna be like, but. Thank you. Find the third and final ride that's open, which I don't know what it is. No. Far? Maybe further down here. Maybe further down here. So far. Oh, oh. Uh, that's what I did. Uh. Oh, it looks like it's an Ice tea. Excuse me, what's in here? Uh, ice lemon tea. Ice lemon tea, ah. Are these refills? See, this one, right? If you want to top up soft drink, you can go to any restaurant for $3 and then there's a area behind you can top that up for $5 Ooh, we'll get one then later yeah. yeah can we get one of these please four dollars oh, thank you thank you thank you yum 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 right oh we've got jasmine iced tea haven't had a jasmine iced tea nice. before that looks nice though doesn't it it does although it's quite early i'm still very dehydrated so this actually tastes really strange I've never had that before. It's actually a product, it's made by Coca-Cola, but... Is it? Yeah, yeah, on the back. Ooh. Really quite nice. It's like, it's quite lightly flavoured. You can really taste the jasmine in it. What do you think? It's such I a really strange like flavour, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite yeah. nice. Mm. It tastes like the hot tea, but it's weird having it cold. Oh, yeah. Not like the normal lemon iced tea we get at home, but it's quite nice. Very sugary, mm. but sweet. Yeah, so the time is now. <laughs> uh, quarter to 10 so we've still got 15 minutes to everything else open so we're kind of just walking around at the moment um having a look yeah we're just going to hang about the guys at the front i think 
Yeah. Just so we can get first dibs on the rivalry run. Yes. Now we need to find out where we're going so we can get there quick. Yeah. And get I the think first we go towards right. the ancient city. Okay. We just follow the path yeah. around. Ancient city. I'm all for it. Yeah. That just might mean Shrek will be busy. I mean, yeah. What day is it today? It's the first day today. Yeah. So hope it's not too busy, but I mean. I think we are off peak as well. Yeah. Because there's no public holidays or all that jazz. So. Soon find out. Right then, finally been able to let through. It is 9.51, so 10 minutes early. We're gonna make our way to the Lost City, or the Ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt, oh yeah. Okay. Ancient Egypt. <laughs> the lost uh, World. Lost World, yeah. So, right then. It looks really cool here, actually. You've got all the sphinxes and the mummies and all that kind of stuff there. Uh, Oasis Spice Cafe. Cairo, Arabian Ring. Rings? Wings, Wings, Punjabi, samosas, wow. buffalo chicken, but oh, that looks nice. So that looks nice as well. Ooh. That's only sorted. I know, we're trying to like, see what we can buy on the way. This is sick. Look at that. So we're going on the mummy. Uh, we've had to put our stuff in lockers because apparently you can't take stuff with you. So we're going to put this down for now before we get in and then I'll pick it up as we get on the ride. But, oh, this is, looks fun this, isn't it? I'm actually so anxious. <laughs> I used to honestly love that ride and now I feel like shaky. To be fair, even I was sat there like this <laughs> for ages, when, the whole ride. Oh, it's when it drops and like you can't breathe <laughs> and then like your screen comes out but then everyone's like, like that's a bit late. Yeah, it's a shame it was really dark there so you couldn't really see much on the camera but oh. that was a lot of fun. That was, that was a lot fun. of fun. I'm holding it again now. <laughs> Should we go again? No. Photos here, I saw them take the flash oh, and I was no. like I don't even want to see yeah. that. Oh, I don't want to see that. Shit my pants. <laughs> Mum and Dad, there's a photo of me on a ride years ago. That was probably the same face I was putting then. I was there, so I think you know exactly what my face is like. I don't want to know. I want to see. Next stop is Jurassic Park. Now, we've got the entrance there. Um, Joe Thompson, if you're watching this, you've ever heard. It is Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Yeah, well, we're, we're in a Jurassic Park area. Um, I'm not too sure. Oh, we've got a food court over there, and then I guess this is the entrance. So we'll go down here. So the next ride is Rapids Adventure. Now, I guess this is something to do with water because everything says about getting wet. And they have said we're not allowed to have any valuables outside. So we'll put this in the bag for now and then pick it up back after the queue. Uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. Yeah. Here we go. Are you excited? I am. So these are what we're going to get in. I think there's a pair of like eight people maybe. Yeah, we did the Rick Punch show. Yeah. So we get wet. Hopefully we don't get too wet, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> We're about to enter Jurassic Park. Cool. Here we go. Oh, fuck yeah. Flood warning, which means we're going to get wet. Oh. Oh, God. We have a breach of the retaining fans at Outpost B. We can help you get these guys down. Like, how well they're like. The White Rapids are here now. And then we're going to go quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Oh,
and I'm um, absolutely soaked. This is going to get people watching motion sickness because of the spinning. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was horrible. Oh, that was fun, although I am actually pretty softened right now. How's my which bath? Is annoying. Uh, fine, to be fair. Is it? Yeah, not bad. All right then, now, not entirely sure where we go. We're going to the dino store. Again, Joe Thompson would fucking love this. Oh, they're quite cute hats, actually. Yeah, aren't they? Look how cute that is. Zach. I'll get you one, Joe. I'll get you that dinosaur. Here we are. Welcome to far, far away. <gasps> this is my favourite one so far. <laughs> Look at this. This looks pretty mental to be fair. Shrek movie. <laughs> wow. The Shrek movie. Got our very own Princess Fiona as well, haven't we, Beth? You do. And I'm married to the Shrek. Right then, where do we go? This is sick. This is an unreal little set. Look at that. Shre oh, look, they've got Shrek waffles over there. You get a Shrek waffle. Oh my goodness. For $12. Star maps. Oh. Wow. Mental. Right, we've got a Puss in Boots, a giant ride there. Is that what that thing is? Yeah. Oh, fun. So we'll go for that, shall we? Yeah. Should we meet Donkey at Go one o'clock? Goldilocks. But you can meet and greet all the characters here as well. Mm. Honestly, this is like the, it's not even for kids, it's yeah. for adults. We've got a Donkey it? live comedy show. Oh, can't wait, can't wait. So we're going for the Puss in Boots ride. Now it's more of a roller coaster, so I'm not, it doesn't look that scary or that intense to be honest. I think it like glides above the sky. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, look. Easy money, mate. Nah. I think it'd be a chilled one. I think the mummy's like scarred me, traumatised me for a while. We need to go on the little rides for a, for a bit, I think. Here we go. Pit stop before we go on some more rides. Uh, I think we we'll go that way. Um, I might grab myself a waffle. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty I'm looking for. I'm a bit hungry, so let's uh, get a bite to eat. Ooh, nice and cold in here. Hello, how are you? Can I get one of the uh, Shrek waffles, please? Okay, uh, chocolate sauce or ice Just chocolate sauce, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Waffle ordered. Now I've just got to wait, hopefully only a couple of minutes while they make it. I'm excited. Yeah, I am really excited. I love it. I've gone for the waffle with chocolate sauce. Um, I was going to get ice cream, but I kind of fancy a separate ice cream dish mm. in a bit, so... Oh, Beth's got me a nice little drink. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> mm. Here we, here we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. That looks insane. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. It's huge. Look at the size of that. Wow. Yeah, that's because they know that they're feeding two people. No, it's because they're feeding an ogre. Definitely, I've done quite some immense on that. So it's literally been about two minutes and that thing has gone straight in there. Not just mine, it did look like that. Yeah. I mean, we did eat it. <laughs> we did eat it before filming it, which was very, very silly of us. But yeah. so we got too excited to see Shrek's We did get too, a bit too excited. I mean, it was really nice, as you can tell. Um, so the taste test was good. It was nice and chocolatey, pretty cakey and doughy in the middle. Um, I'd give it maybe six out of 10 as far as waffles go, but the design, 
and presentation was a 10. Yeah, so. it wasn't worth $12. Yeah. But yeah, now we're going to head and go on one of the rides round there because the queues are still really quiet at the moment, which is really good. So we're going to just try and do as many rides as possible, then do a bit of a food tour, um, which is exciting. So let's go. So we've just walked across turkey leg stand. Now I haven't had these one of these since like 2009 in Florida, so oh, I've got such good memories. So hopefully they're as nice. So we're gonna grab one. It's $15, which is quite a lot considering what it is, but I mean, we'll give it a go. They look nice. Look at those. Oh, yeah, they look good. Those do. I've never actually had a corn dog, so I'm excited for that, but I have had a turkey leg, so I'm also excited. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, that smells unreal. We're going to go for first. The corn dog. Corn dog first. I do want a bit of um, ketchup on it, though. Right then, let's see if they remember. It tastes as good as I remember. How is it? I'm real. That's so good. Okay. Mm. I haven't had turkey. We haven't had turkey this year, actually. No. That is so nice. What is it? Oh. What? It's brought back memories of about 20, however, I don't know how many years ago. Mmm. Nice, isn't it? I never used to like these when I was younger, mm -hmm. but it's really good. Honestly, it reminds me of Florida and my family so many years ago. That is incredible. I haven't actually tried one of these before, so first ever corn dog time. Let's give it a go. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Because that's better. Yeah, that's quite good. I love that. I remember, I think the ones in Florida were huge. Yeah. I remember them being really big. I also remember the ones in Florida being massive. Maybe so. they just looked bigger because we were younger. But Maybe. The, I thought they were huge. Yeah. on the food hunt is Star Dots ice cream. Now, which one we're going to go for? Tropical Peach Sunday Cone. Hmm. Those are pretty meant to be. They both look good. I'm not really too sure which one I pick. I think I'd probably go for that one if it was me, but we can go for that one. That one over here. Oh, this is it. So this Tropical Peach Sunday Cone is charcoal coconut peach soft serve ice cream, crispy waffle cone. Yeah, God knows. We'll go for that one then. It's quite nice. For ten dollars, it's not bad, is it really? Tropical peach sundae cone. Let's have a look at that. So cookies, that charcoal, peach. I'm not sure what these are, but give that one a go. How is it? Is it sour? Mm. Is it sour? A little bit actually. Very really? peachy. It was just cold. Though. All right. Let me give one of these a go. Oh yeah. Mm. Really weird. So yeah, this is located just outside of the Transformers section in Stardots. And I definitely recommend getting one because it is, although it's weird, it is really nice. And for the sake of $10, it's not bad at all really. Let's go ahead and find some more because I've got a big appetite now. And on our food tour, we have found ourselves back in ancient Egypt because earlier, we found this, Oasis Spice Cafe. 
and we saw the butter biryani, the butter masala, roasted chicken. And we love our South Indian food, even Punjabi vegetable samosas. So we're gonna give it a go. Um, hope you've got like a nice main meal. Oh, I miss my Indian food, so it's gonna be good. Away. Let's go. Queue here. Hopefully it's not a big queue or a place. Why do we queue? Okay. Ah. Not entirely sure what we do. What do we do then? Can't hear you. The butter chicken biryani? Yeah, yeah. This one? Butter chicken biryani. Oh, less butter chicken in aloo salad. Oh, that does look nice, doesn't it? Or oh, mutton masala. Go for the best chicken then. Here we go. So butter chicken, biryani, papadoms, and some samosas. That looks good, doesn't it? All four. That came to a total of twenty-four dollars. So not bad at all, really. What about fifteen pounds? Um, I mean, actually, when you say 50 pounds, it's a little bit expensive, but... 15? Yeah, 15 quid. Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, that, the curry was... Well, the biryani was 10 pounds, so yeah, that probably was a bit high. Let's fix that in there. How are you getting on? Oh, it's really... It's actually really nice. The biryani is so good. Yeah. That potato stuff's nice, the, the rice is nice, and that butter chicken is also on point, like... It actually just tastes like the food we had in India when we were back there, so I'm happy. It's been a long time since I've had an Indian meal like this. Again, I'm still trying to figure out what this relevance this has to Cairo and Egypt yeah, and stuff like that, but um, we're literally in like an Egyptian palace and we're served. Maybe biryani comes from Egypt. To be fair, we haven't actually ever been to Egypt before, but I haven't. Yeah. Okay, he has. I don't know what food they do in Egypt. I can't remember eating curry in Egypt, but I might be wrong. But yeah, for $24, that was definitely worth it. That was incredible. So then that is us pretty much done in the park. My stomach is full. I'm all ridden out. Uh, that was so much fun. Although I don't think it's as big as the one in Florida. Like I had a lot of fun there. And yeah, so, yeah, so glad I came here. So if you are in Singapore, definitely come. 100%. Now, going to wherever the monorail will, will be because it's another way to get back to the Vivo mall I think it was called okay so we will try and find the monorail yes uh, now this is the first time I'll have been on a monorail in Singapore I think I went on one in Florida pretty sure we did uh, but I haven't been on for years so let's go find the monorail and get back to the mall Vivo city station harbour front Bevo City? Bevo City Station. Okay. Station, yeah. Station. Because we just... walk through the Bevo City Mall, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm trusting you, so I hope you're right. I mean, I can see it, that big Is pink thing there. Uh, I'm not sure. I think so. Maybe, hopefully. I, mean, I don't really know it. Not entirely sure why she's so excited, but next, uh, next train four oh, minutes. we've only got one stop, four minutes. Yeah, That's so right, we took a what, about 15 20 minutes to walk? <laughs> yeah, so it's not too bad to be honest, really. Here we go. Here we go. It's quite cute, they've got different colours. Mm, oh, yeah, green. We've been blessed with the yellow one, haven't we? Yeah, we like yellow. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Where do you want to go? Up there. Oh. These hands are They are. I always bang my head. Yeah. <laughs> They're annoying, aren't they? Underground. We've got a driver. No driver today. Where's he gone? Thank you for Justin Sintesa. This train is bound for Vivo City Station. <laughs> Next stop, Vivo City Next Station. Vivo City Station. There's a golf course over there. There actually is no driver. I wasn't joking. There's not. A, there's literally no driver. 
not entirely sure who's driving that train. That's it, our first ever monorail done. We're now back here at Vivo City. Is it Vivo Life? Yeah, Vivo, Vivo City. City. Yeah, so that is pretty much us now done for the day. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it, like that is so much Love fun. Sentosa Island is sick. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.